This is going to be a brief demonstration on Garage Hive's new online booking system. Um, I'm going to show you from the customer perspective um, and then very quickly from the service advisor perspective how this all links together. So if you have the online booking, you'll be given a script. The script will work on any website. Uh, you just need to speak to your web team to get the script placed on your booking page. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of versions of the booking um, system. So if I just type in a registration, um, I can select, if you're more to location, you can select a branch. In this case, I'm going to select the Arnold branch. If I press book now, I'm presented with a list of service packages. So these are the same service packages that you build up within the system already. Um, a few more options to the service packages, such as you can um, define the price by make or model, uh, fuel type, year, um, engine capacity, etc. It's quite extensive what you can do. You can be really quite detailed with these prices if you want to offer fixed prices. Um, you can select multiples if you want to. Um, so I could select class 4 MOT, a Diag, um, and a puncture repair. And the system will actually analyze on the schedule. You, um, you don't have to tell the system what's available. The system will look at what's available based on what's actually happening within your schedule. Um, you can have certain days opted in and out and certain times available, etc. Um, but the system will do most of the work for you. So depending what's made up, um, the actual labor times within the service packages, the system will decide um, whether you have the capacity to actually do the work. Um, you can also select more info and it'll pop up a bit more information here for you. Uh, I just want to also show you the uh, mobile version as well. So it will just change dynamically um, depending on the size of the device as well. So it scales really nicely, even though it is an embed. Um, what you can also do is pre-filter the service packages to a particular page. So if I go to book an MOT, and I'm going to make a booking again for Arnold, it's going to bring me up only the MOT related stuff. So if you don't want to bombard the customer with all the um, service packages available, you can pre-filter the service packages to particular pages within your website. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed through the booking. And in this case, I'm just, just um, only going to book an MOT. I can, you can connect service packages to other service packages. So if you want to um, add some additional services, I can, for example, connect MOT to wheel alignment or MOT to diagnostic, um, and it will display here on the right hand side. So you can actually um, sell additional work to the customers. Proceed through the booking system and I get presented with um, obviously a date picker. And we're gonna go to the 23rd of January pick a date and then you obviously get your time. So we'll just say in this case, we'll select half past 10. Continue. And now we've just got a form to fill in. So I'm just going to pop my details in here. This is a test booking. This is going live into my actual system. So I need to make sure the guys don't pr process the booking. Um, you get the summary on the right hand side. Um, and then we're just going to finish. So when we complete the booking, the customer will receive an email and a text message and the garage will also receive um, an email, um, but it's much smarter than that. So we've just got to wait for the booking, the online booking to synchronize with um, Garage Hive um, and I'll show you what the service advisors will now see. Okay, so what the service advisor will see, um, as well as receiving the email to the branch, they will also um, have a new tile now called online bookings to review. So this is where all the online bookings will come through. It works in a similar way to the surveys. What we didn't want to do was just place the bookings on the schedule without at least making all the staff aware of what's happened. So if we open this tile, um, we can see the booking that was made. So we can see uh, the customer contact details, vehicle registration, location code, etc. cetera. Um, what we can also do from here is select the booking items and this allows you to see the service package numbers that the customers have booked and the date from and date to and time as well and which resource it also used. What we can also do is open the job sheet. So if we open the job sheet, you can see that I've just received this notification that job sheet has an online booking dummy customer. Please look up the actual customer. So the system um, has been designed in a way to prevent duplicated data. 
Now, if the customer enters information and the system finds all of the relevant information against the customer card, it will automatically add the customer to the job sheet for you. But if there is any discrepancy whatsoever, um, a, a crossover of data between customers or the system finds potentially that this vehicle could be belong to more than one customer because of previous entries, um, it's going to give you an option. So if I select lookup, you can see it's actually found two customers. Now I'm assuming that this, this is an account within my system that has been previously linked to this vehicle. Um, so it's just double checking that I no longer want to use this bottom oh, and the number's the same as well, look. Um, but in this case, I'm just gonna select the account which is already in the system, which I know is correct for this customer. So I select the account. It's gonna ask me if I want to change the um, booking details on the job sheet, which we do. And there it's populated the job sheet now with the correct customer details. You can also see that the customer comment has also been placed um, in the comment section and the job sheet has also been built up with the information from the service package. If I take a quick look at the schedule as well, you can see it's actually placed the allocation directly within the schedule. All I then simply do is edit list, mark this online booking as reviewed, go back to the home page, and the tile is now reduced back down to zero. So it's only a brief video. Um, I intend on doing a much more detailed video in how this all works in the background um, and how to set all the online booking up. This is just a brief run through um, of what we've got so far. Uh, we've been testing it for quite a while now and it works really well. Um, I hope you guys like it and I really look forward to the feedback. Thank you.